The Japan Atomic Energy Agency is ready to deploy mobile laboratories capable of analyzing radioactive substances. The mobile labs are expected to help with the collection of samples in areas contaminated by the 2011 nuclear accident. The agency has unveiled two vehicles equipped with devices capable of identifying and measuring radioactive substances. The equipment is mounted in a way that prevents engine vibrations from, effect, from affecting the analysis. A filtered ventilation system ensures that radioactive substances don't penetrate the vehicle. Officials at the agency says they say that mobile labs will allow samples to be analyzed more precisely than if they were driven to a research center. The mobile lab will improve the efficiency of our analysis and allow us to save time. The Japan Atomic Energy Agency plans to start operating the vehicles in mid-July. Now, the Fukushima Daiichi plant continues to be plagued with problems. Engineers there say chemical corrosion is the likely cause of a leak last month of contaminated water from a new filtering system. The system is designed to remove radioactive substances from the water. Workers at the plant found the leak in a part of a stainless steel tank that had been welded. They emptied the tank and found two holes and more than 10 dents inside. Each dent was 2 to 5 millimeters in diameter. Officials of Tokyo Electric Power Company say a chemical to remove impurities likely reacted with the vessel. They say they plan to apply anti-corrosion resin to the steel. About 400 tons of contaminated water accumulates every day at the plant due to groundwater seeping into the crippled reactor buildings. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has detected a higher level of radioactivity, including from strontium, at a new observation well closer to the sea. Tokyo Electric Power Company says it will further investigate possible leaks of contaminated water into the ocean. TEPCO said it determined on Friday that the level of beta radiation in water at a newly dug observation well was more than twice the level at an older one. The higher level was 3,000 becquerels per litre. Beta radiation is emitted by strontium and other radioactive nuclei. The new well was dug at a point close to the sea after TEPCO found that radioactive tritium and strontium were higher than government set levels at the older well near a reactor building. TEPCO says it's hard to know the reason at the moment, but the level of radioactivity in the sea has not greatly changed. It adds it is also unknown whether anything has leaked into the sea. The operator says it will set up more observation wells to analyze the groundwater at the Fukushima Daiichi plant site. It is also planning to solidify the ground for seawalls to avoid leakage. Well, Japanese consumers are bracing for bigger grocery bills. Domestic food makers are raising their prices from July 1st. The weaker yen and poor weather in producer countries have driven up the cost of imported raw materials. Nippon Meat Packers will raise the effective prices of its processed meat goods. It's reducing product volume to cope with the rising cost of livestock feed. Hams and sausages will be among 150 items affected by price hikes of 5 to 11 percent. Bread makers are following suit. Wholesale prices of flour were raised in June. Yamazaki Baking is increasing the shipping prices of some breads and pastries by up to 6 percent. Nishin Oilio Group is raising the price of cooking oil by 10% following a price hike in April. Kewpie Corporation and Ajinomoto will also increase the prices of mayonnaise.